Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying some scales problems, or problems where we have a pan balance. It is like a seesaw, you know a seesaw? It can tilt one way or the other if one side is heavier. But in all these problems we are imagining that the two sides are equal. They have the same weight, so to speak. And you can think of these weights as in kilograms or in pounds, whichever way you prefer. But I'm just going to think of them as numbers, I'm used to that. And these pan balances or these scales are basically equations. They have unknowns. Here's an unknown shape or unknown weight. How much does it weigh? And that's a task to solve in all these problems. They're like puzzles, right? Oh, Matthew is getting excited. Puzzles. Now this first one is very easy, right? How much does this square weigh? Oh, it's equal to? It's equal to 9. And this whole balance here models for us the equation. If I use x, I would say x equals 5 plus 4. Okay, that's an easy one. Let's go to the next one. Over here, can you tell how much this blue triangle weighs or is equal? On this side we have 10, 10 kilograms, 10. On this side we have the triangle and 2. This side has to weigh 10 in total for the seesaw to be balanced, okay? So this and this together are 10, so the triangle must be 8, right? That one was easy too. On this one, on this side we have 10, right? 4 plus 6 equals 10. On this side we have two circles, so one circle must equal 5. Yeah, you got it. This is easy. As an equation, this would be 4 plus 6 equals 2 times an unknown, 2 times x, 2 times a circle. Then this one, it's an easy one too, right? 15 on this side, so this side must also be 15. Three of these is 15, so one of them, one triangle, must be 5. This is really easy, right? Over here we have a little bit more complicated situation, right? Now this side is easy, it's a total of 21. So this here must also weigh 21. Now think this way. All these circles together must weigh 20, right? Because this weight here is 1. So these weigh 20 and 1. 21 total, 21 on this side. So if 5 circles weigh 20, then 1 circle weighs 4. Yeah, you have to use your multiplication and division skills. And this time let's check the equation, okay? By checking, I mean that, okay, if this is 4, I'm going to check if these two weights are actually equal. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, that's 5 times 4. 20 plus 1, 21, 21. Yes, it checks. Now this one, Matthew, would you like to try it? Okay, he wants to try it. Can you tell the answer? Did you get 7 too? Is Matthew right? Let's check. Let's check Matthew's answer. On this side we have 20. Now if 7 is correct, 7 plus 7 plus 6. Yes, that's 22. It checks. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Now over here is our first time of having the unknown on both sides. So that's a bit different. That's something new. And so the idea here, I'm going to show you a little trick that makes it much easier. And that is that if we take away from both sides the same thing, then the pan balance is still going to be balanced. The scales are still balanced. If I take away one oval from both sides, then it will still be balanced. Okay? Because I took away the same thing from both sides. What's that, Matthew? Oh? Okay. Matthew wants to change the problem a little bit here. What are you going to do? What's he doing? 
I don't think it changed the problem. Oh, okay. They have blueberry cookies now. Oh, okay. All right. Two blueberry cookies on this side and one on that side. And like I said, if I remove one, one unknown from both sides, think of it as going away, then I would have the, the balance still balanced and this cookie equals three. Let's also check with the original equation. Three plus three and three plus three. Yes, they are equal. Next one, let's use this same trick. There's unknown shapes on both sides. So I'm gonna remove some from both sides, okay? That and that. And then one more. If those go away, then the scales are still balanced. And what I have left is one green ball and two and four on that side, okay? So four on that side. This side would need to also weigh four, right? So the ball and two makes four, so the ball is two. And let's also check. Now thinking of the original equation, how it was before I removed those balls, I would have had two, 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 that's eight. And here, two, two, four, that's eight, two. So yeah, it checks. This one is pretty easy too, I think. You try it on your own, okay? The first step again, because we have the unknowns on both sides, is to remove whatever we can, okay? Remove those and remove another pair. So nine left on that side, three triangles on that side. So one triangle must equal three. And then check. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 5 times 3, 15. And here, 6 and 9, 15. Yes, 6. Again, try it on your own. Use the trick I told you about. We will remove some unknowns from both sides. That one and that one. And then this and this. And so what is left, 13 here. So what is left here must also weigh 13, or be equal to 13. We have four balls and one. Okay, that means that those four balls must equal 12, right? So then we have 12 and one, 13. So four balls equaling 12, one ball must equal three. Again, the unknown equals three. And then let's check three and three. 13, that's 19. Over here, I have 6 times 3, that's 18 and 1. 19, yeah, it checks. Over here, we have a double scales, so it is a little bit more difficult maybe, but maybe not. If you want to try it on your own, pause the video now and try it. And now let me explain how we will solve this. You have to think that all of this on this side weighs the same as all of this on this side. Okay, but also here is a scales in itself. So this side weighs the same as this. And of course, from that we can now easily solve this blue circle. Two of these weighs six. So the blue circle weighs or is equal to three. And now when we go to the other side, first let's figure out how much does this whole thing weigh here that is on the left side of the main scale. Here's six and six, so that's 12. This whole side weighs 12, and so this side also weighs 12, right? So now it's very easy. This rectangle plus five equals 12, so the rectangle is seven. Here's a double scales too, okay? Again, the same principles apply. This side, all of this weighs the same as all of these, but individually, this side weighs the same as this, okay? And then this side, the same as that. We can first concentrate on this side. You can see the unknown shape on both sides, just looking at these scales or, pa or balance. So I'll remove one from both sides. So we can see here's five, this side must weigh 5 now, so those two balls must weigh 4, okay? Two brown balls 
weighing 4. So one of them is 2, right? Let's check. 2 and 5 is 7. 2, 2, 2 and 1 is 7. Okay. So that checks. And then, okay, like I told you, let's figure out the weight of this whole left side here. The 7 and 7 equals 14. So this side must also weigh 14, right? And then this bag, this bag also, they must be 7 and 7. And so actually we can only just look at this bag here to figure the purple circle, to figure out the purple circle. Six of these plus one makes seven. So what do you think? Uh-huh, yep. One purple circle is one. All right. Those were all our problems with the scales. I have one more, and it is numbers. You know, I was mentioning about equations. And this is basically an equation. Can you solve it? It is an unknown x, not the shape this time, but an x. I'm sure you can solve it, right? It's not difficult. But this is the same as the algebra problem of x plus 12 on this side equals 3 times 7. Now this raised dot is a multiplication sign that we use in algebra because if we used x, you would think it is the same x as here, so we can't use x for multiplication. But looking at the balance, surely you can solve it, right? 7, 7, 7 on that side makes 21. So this side also must be 21. So what is x? x equals 9. Yes. You see? You're solving equations now. All right, we're all done with this lesson.